Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you are very welcome. For those that are returning subscribers, thank you very, very much. If you're new to this channel, I post my videos on Sundays at 6.30pm. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. If any of my previous videos have given you any value, and also just to support your girl. And also hit the bell button so you don't miss out any of my new videos. So for today's video, it's actually been a year since I have been on YouTube. Woo! Yeah, so today's video is more a reflective note of my YouTube journey. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So it's been a year. It's been lovely, it's been up and down, but I can say YouTube has really, really, really been something I have been consistent with, which was something I kind of struggled with, like I'll be consistent with something and then I'll kind of just start dipping or I'll miss a day or something, then a day turns into a week, a week turns into a month and then it's just something that doesn't happen. It's just now something that I used to do. But with YouTube, I have been so consistent that it's made me realize that I have the ability to be consistent as long as I put myself and my mind into it. That the thing that's where the difference was, I made the commitment that I am going to post my videos on Thursdays and Sundays at 6.30pm and every Thursday and Sunday for the last year I have done that. And I am so proud of myself because I have shown myself that I am able to do it. I am able to be consistent. And I think one thing that really helped me was the fact that this YouTube channel and also the people that watch me and also the fact that it's on a public service where the world can see has made me more accountable and I have had to keep up with the promise that I had made that every Thursday and Sunday I'm going to post a video. The learning point from that for me is that sometimes saying your progress or saying your goals is not necessarily a bad thing as long as you're someone that is made accountable. As long as you feel like you're someone that once the world or once someone knows I said I'm going to do this, I have to do it. As long as you're that, that kind of person, I don't see much of an issue of making certain goals known. Maybe not all your goals, not all your plans, because you know you never know how people react to it or what intentions people have. For me, it's the fact that, that the world knew and people that I know knew, people that love me knew that this is what Master does on a Thursday and Sunday has really helped to keep me accountable. It has really helped me to, to be persistent with it and consistent with it. Um, I think another thing is, and I have to thank Gary V for this, is that when I was starting out, you know, you're excited, oh, and you see, you're, you're used to watching YouTubers that have more than 100,000 subscribers and they're getting millions of views and you're used to seeing that these are the numbers that you associate watching a YouTube video with. And then as a new starter, some videos you barely get 10, 20 views, on a, on a good day you're on 50 and the video I watched from Gary V was talking about the fact that you shouldn't pay attention to the views don't pay attention to the comments don't pay attention to the metrics of of how well you're doing but focus more on the value that you're giving to people is your video of great value is, is your content going to be something that is going to help someone or is something that is achieving the goal that you have? And do not focus on the number. And take away the emotion that people have on, oh, my video only got 10 views, oh, my video only did this. Because you start to, to judge yourself and compare yourself to other people that have been on YouTube for 10 years. There's some people that have built up their platforms to millions of subscribers but they have done that over a period of 10 years and you're wanting to do that in a year? And I had to remind myself that this is, this is, a, this is a journey that I am going to have to crawl and then after I've crawled I'm going to have to learn how to balance myself. Once I'm balancing myself I take a few steps I'm going to drop. As long as I pick myself back up again and I'm, eventually I'll start walking. Once I'm walking, I am running. 
and I had to keep reminding myself of that. Masha, think of the greater goal that you have here. What is it that you're trying to achieve from this platform? Think of the bigger picture rather than what's going on right now. And with, it's like that with any business. You're not going to start a business and you have thousands and thousands of customers or clients. It's something that's going to come with time. And I had to look at it with, with the same kind of eyes. Like this is something that will take time and will come with time. I'm going to have to nurture my platform, grow my community, grow my message, grow myself as a speaker, learn how to speak and how to communicate properly. This YouTube journey has helped me to get over the over fear of the unknown because it was new territory. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was getting myself into but I pushed past that fear and that uncomfortability of being in front of the camera, in front of the world, really. One of the other things is, is I, I've, I learned how to be vulnerable and how to allow my, my experiences to be a stepping stone for someone else. And I think what has really helped me to keep consistent as well is the fact that I have had people that I may not necessarily talk to on a regular basis. People that I may be new in high school or in college that I don't really associate with that with them like that. That have come to me and be like, oh, do you know what it is? I needed this video that you posted today. Or like, oh, I watched this video of yours and it really made me think about this and it made me think about that. And I realized that there's a greater impact that I could have as long as I remain consistent and true to myself and to the message that I have. And for me to just be a vessel of happiness, a vessel of someone that you can you can come to and be like, do you know what it is? Master doesn't have it all together, but she's really trying to, to, to do something great in this world. She's really trying to help people out in this world. And it, it's true, like, I, I don't have it all together. I don't think anyone really does. But I want to be a vessel of happiness that people can come to my channel and, and learn things and I can pass on my positivity and happiness and, and gratitude and they can learn from the experiences that I've had and how I've come out of that being a bigger person or how I may not have come out of that being a bigger person and what I've then learned through that journey. And with that being said, I have now decided to post my videos on a Sunday only and the reason I've done this is because YouTube is quite time consuming in terms of I'm, I'm the one that shoots my videos, I'm the one that edits them, I'm the one that uploads them, does my thumbnails, my trailers all by myself while working a full-time job and also starting a business. It's a lot to handle kind of at once. I've been able to do it and it's okay like I can do it but I want to develop myself as a speaker and I have to give myself the opportunity to grow. And the way I can do that is, you know, subscribing into courses, finding a mentor, giving my time into speaking and learning the art of speaking or the science of speaking. And the only way I can do that is to, is to give myself the time to be able to do that, the opportunity to be able to do that. And I think over this last year, I've got more than a hundred videos. Like if people really want to binge watch my videos, they've got enough to go on. I've covered quite a varied amount of topics that they can go back to. It's going to allow me to have more time to, to get things going and to stop to, to feel like I'm not spreading myself thin. Although I am able to do it, I think you're not fully exerting your energy into something when you need to do this and I need to do that and I need to do this. And it's, it's just going to help me to manage my time better and manage myself better. Over the last few months, I haven't really been looking after my health as much. I haven't been ex exercising as much. And it's taken a lot of reflection time on my behalf to realize that I, I need to now be given more time to taking care of me, taking care of my personal growth, taking care of my growth as, as, a, as a speaker because this is what I want to do in the future. You have to practice, you have to learn how to do it efficiently in a way that you're able to connect with people. And all that requires experience and learning, which I am going to go out and source. And it also allows me to start documenting my journey to becoming a world-renowned and recognized transformational speaker. So yeah, it's been a wonderful year. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. You guys are... Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm very surprised that, you know, people actually want to watch me speak. People have, think I have things to listen to. And 
it's been lovely i've connected with people that i probably would have never met had i not been on this youtube journey and yeah it's been lovely it's been great and i can't wait for us to grow and you know keep elevating ourselves and yeah thank you so much guys for all the support over this last year so yeah that's my video for today guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it on this reflective journey of mine and i will see you beautiful people on sunday